All right, y'all, today's video, I'm gonna take you on this road that I found that I really don't know a lot about. I didn't find any website or any app or anything like that. It is literally something, I just looked at the map. It looked awesome. It's Highway 34, and it's running from Estes Park to Grand Lake. And from the looks of the map, it's windy, twisty, curvy. It appears to have a lot of elevation. I'm riding my Indian Challenger today. It's the Dark Horse Edition. This bike's a lot of fun to ride. It is absolutely great in the hills of the twisties. This is where this bike really shines. But you see, it's got all these big, large rock formations. The mountains are huge, bare rocks. It almost has a reminder of here. Let's see if we can get across the street. See, these formations like this almost have a reminder of the Black Hills, which is, uh, you know, Sturgis area of riding where I'll be next week, so. But uh, you can see there's still some snow way up there in the mountains. I don't know exactly how high we're gonna get today, but I'm hoping to get high enough to maybe see some of that. If not, I found some roads that we can do in a later video that definitely have some. Well, this is Rocky Mountain National Park. And I am not gonna get in. <laughs> well, I can see why that was probably a beautiful ride on the map. I don't have a reservation, so I'm not getting in there. Sign said Devil's Glutch this way. I have no idea what Devil's Glutch is, but it sounds amazing. So we're gonna go Devil's Glutch and Glen Haven. It looks like it's riding into some beautiful terrain. got some good turns that's for sure this is where this Indian really really firms up scraping this is what this Indian likes to do man <laughs> see and just found it by accident man I mean that's what riding is all about that was fun place over there. Just the remnants of a house that once was. What a great spot. Beautiful spot. Look at that. Riding down in between that. America, baby. My people were here. <laughs> yes. Whew. I think I'll be riding along this creek for a while. Let the day warm up a little bit before I, I jump in. This one's, <laughs> she's a little, a little cold. Maybe a little too refreshing for this early in the morning. Cinnamon rolls, cherry cobbler, cold drinks, coffee, ice cream. So we figured it out. The, uh, the Devil's Gulch is the road that I just took you all down. So we've done all of Devil's Gulch. I'm going to see if I can get some service. Drink some coffee and, well, you find a little mountains town like Glen Haven and they got cobbler. You gotta try it. Then we'll get back to the road. 
so the cobbler really wasn't very good but it's probably my fault my expectations are probably way too high when I rolled up on this place but the coffee was great and their cinnamon buns look good and they said they had homemade bread for their sandwiches so of course I have absolutely no service whatsoever zero bars I don't know where to go from here I'm dead in one way and I'm dead in the other way and I don't see any really routes off of this road so I'm gonna get back up to Estes Park I'm gonna sit down and Google another road to ride here today um, and that's just uh, why I think, you know, I keep saying in my videos, but why I think motorcycle destinations are so important. Because I'd be able to pull up that website and look at the cool rides that other riders have recommended uh, instantly. And instead, I'm going to be on Google searching, trying to find good rides around Estes Park. Very difficult to do. On motorcycle destinations, I just put Colorado, pull up the map zoom into the Estes Park area and it'd show me all the rides within riding distance. I could click on it and it'd give me directions directly to the route. But hey, I'm building it day by day and I know y'all are out there helping me build it. And next year, riders aren't gonna have this problem. Right, so I've been sitting here Googling. I did find this peak to peak run, which uh, looks like a pretty good run, but it's about 55 miles long and it's getting a little bit later in the day. And frankly, Ashley flies in tomorrow morning and I'd really like to do that ride with her. So I'm gonna hold off on doing that ride today. I'm gonna call the day on the video. I'm gonna go get some stuff prepared for my baby to arrive tomorrow. I'll tell y'all it's getting harder and harder to be gone for weeks on end uh, away from my girl. I don't know how our troops do it. Uh, I gotta thank y'all so much for anybody who served in our country. Whether you've been in wartime or not, you've sacrificed time away from your family to serve our country. And that is a huge sacrifice in itself. Y'all are uh, my heroes every day for doing it. I'm out here doing it, enjoying beautiful roads, seeing the country, and uh, it's still difficult to, uh, be away from my family. You know, Ashley and I have a nine-year-old boy that uh, I miss a lot of time with raising, and I, I miss I miss uh, I miss my time with her, and frankly, my whole family back there at the K River Campground. So, big shout out to all of them: Melissa, Kathy, Cheryl, Daryl, Matt, and of course my boy Chucky, and. Ashley, not not my Ashley, but the other Ashley working there at the campground. Y'all are awesome for holding it down there. I know we've got veterans staying there free almost every day, and I know y'all are taking care of the customers. I get rave reviews all the time. If you want to catch up with me and Sergis, you can do so. I'm staying at the Buffalo Chip. You can catch me on the 6th at 11 a.m. at the historic uh, Sturgis Motorcycle Museum Hall of Fame. I will be there with Law Tigers where they're doing a competition to give away a free motorcycle. On the 7th, you can catch me at Black Hills Harley Davidson. I'll be there at the High Seas Rally booth from noon to one o'clock. The High Seas Rally, y'all, is a motorcycle rally on a cruise ship that I'm going on with Ashley this October. I hope y'all can join us on it. Uh, it's all for charity and uh, veterans. It's all-inclusive booze, and if you decide to go, make sure you put in the code the Americans. You'll enter my group. They give me a $200 commission if you put in that, and I'm donating that towards buying a ticket for a veteran. I'll email everybody in my group. Y'all will nominate your veterans, and I'll pick one. You can catch me at Legend Suspension from 11 to noon. I'm going to be hopefully on Ashley's bike and likely getting her some Legend Suspension on it because I rode it the other day, and it absolutely needs it. And I'm sure there'll be some other shenanigans across Sturgis and I'll keep you updated on my feeds on social media. If you don't follow me yet on Instagram, please go over to Instagram. It's adamsandoval.official and uh, that's where you can get my most updates. I also do them on Facebook and I'm on Twitter and TikTok as well. All right, y'all, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed getting turned down and not being able to ride the road I wanted but uh, still stumbling on a very cool road that I will go over to Motorcycle Destinations and add for y'all in case you want to find it someday. Y'all remember things don't always go as planned but you stay stubborn, you stay focused, and I'll see you in the next video.